One of the questions that's really my favourite is if you're in an interview situation and the interview's gone really well, I think one of the things that you can say to the employer is, James, could you imagine me working in this organisation? Could you imagine me in the role that we're currently talking about at the moment? What are your thoughts? Do you think I could do this job? I think sometimes taking control of that interview and actually asking the questions yourself, I think can make a huge difference. I think as a tip from me, if you want to know how well the interview's done, generally, as you're leaving the room or you're on the train on your way home, when you reflect back, a great measure is who did most of the talking? If the person doing the interviewing did 80% of the talking, it didn't go very well. Generally speaking, it's 60% you and 40% them. So if you haven't really engaged in the discussion, I think you'll find you'll struggle to get that job. So always make sure that you do far more talking because it's you're there on display. And I think if you find that the interviewer does all the talking, then actually you've not performed very well. I think the only other tip that I can share with you, or one other tip I can share with you, is believe it or not, one of the most important parts of the interview is when you're actually leaving the room at the end and walking to the door or walking to the lift. To me, that 90 seconds is your opportunity where generally the guards come down. As you're sitting in front of somebody, it's a very formal interview situation, but towards the end of every interview, and I do this in sales all the time, when I go along to a meeting and the meeting's ended, generally speaking, people normally escort you either back to reception or to the lift. Along that journey is your one opportunity to ask all the killer questions. You know, you can actually say to somebody, you know, um, by the way, James, I really enjoyed meeting you. You know, from your point of view, how did you think the interview went? Because now as we're walking out towards the lift, they'll be far more relaxed and they'll tell you. That could also be the time when you ask that real question. You know, having kind of discussed the opportunity, am I the kind of person that you think would fit into this organisation? Another great question is, having met me today, is there any specific skills that you haven't really found in me today that would help me do this job? Is there anything that you think that I've got missing? Because what you're now trying to do is you're homing in and you're trying to close. Because remember what's gonna happen, once you've left, they've got five or six people to see, you'll be part of a shortlist process, you won't really know how well you've done. But if, imagine if I'd said to you at that time, Actually, one of the areas that I do think I'm concerned about is in this particular role, I was looking for somebody with PowerPoint presentation skills or financial skills or whatever particular aspect that I thought you possibly were slightly weak on. Now is your great opportunity. Now that you understand where the problem is, you can do something about it. And what you would say is that's very interesting, James, that you raised that. Because funnily enough, in my last position, I was on a project for six months where I really needed very strong skills. Um, if it's okay with you, what I'd like to do tomorrow is could I send you some information just to kind of illustrate how I particularly did that. So that journey towards the lift is your opportunity to find out if there's anything that you've missed. Whatever you get as a feedback, you've now got an opportunity the following day to follow that point up, drop a note, and now you've got a second opportunity to really demonstrate that that particular weakness that he'd identified, in fact, could be a strength of yours. Obviously, the graduate market is really tough right now. Do you have one tip out of anything else that you would give to graduates and then try and get themselves ahead of the crowd? The graduate market, clearly right now, is going to be very competitive because so many graduates are going to be coming onto the market. One of the key things to remember is, unfortunately, your CV isn't going to look that different to most other people. The key objective from your perspective is to get through that door and get an interview. Because once you've got through the door at an interview is your opportunity to really demonstrate who you are. Do not just rely on the CV because in this particular market they're going to get thousands of CVs. You know, is there any way that you can be referred or recommended? Do you know anybody who works in the organisation that can get you through the door? To me, the key advice I would give you is try and get that first interview because what you really need is the opportunity to present yourself because you will sell yourself a lot better than any CV will.
if you're in a situation where you've picked something up from the interview where you want to go back and kind of demonstrate um, a particular point, I would always do that the next day. If you're waiting for a response, generally speaking, I would always allow three days. So if, you've, if you had the interview on the Monday and you haven't heard by kind of Wednesday, Thursday, then definitely call. So the kind of magic marker for me is three days.